I started my periods when I was in secondary school and looking back, they were always quite painful. I knew that my period was going to come at some point, but I didn't know what to expect. The cramps were really bad looking back and my period was always really heavy. So I would go through sanitary towels galore. But the older I got, the more I thought something's not right to. By the time I went to uni, I'd started fainting and stuff and I had to take a year out of uni. I carried on for ages, just acting as if everything was fine. And I felt in a way that I had to wear a mask. It makes you so miserable and it actually can make you quite isolated as well. And I found myself canceling plans a lot at the last minute with my friends. It was only when my cousin said to me, I think you've got this thing called endometriosis, that I started to do research. And that's when I asked to see a specialist. I don't think it's always been easy to talk about um, periods and period pain because there's this perception that people think that because you bleed, it's a dirty thing. And I think the older I've gotten, the more open I've been about it. And because I've been on such a journey with my period, I don't want anyone um, yeah, sorry. I don't want anyone to have to go through what I went through. The day I got my diagnosis, I can't explain the relief that, that I felt. Before I had my surgery, I thought that it would be a really nice idea to turn something negative into something that could possibly help other people. I did a lot of my research around trying to get my diagnosis on things like Instagram, where there were loads of accounts with women sharing their stories. And I realised that there wasn't an account that was available in Welsh. So I set up a page called Endo One E. We built up a really nice little community where girls are starting to share their stories. Anything that I can use from my own personal experience to help anyone else. If I can help one other person, then the whole thing will have been worth it. To me, a period proud Wales um, would be a Wales where people felt comfortable and confident in talking about their periods and the effect it has on them without any judgment or stigma. The more open the conversation is around menstrual health and women's health in general, it can only be a good thing. <laughs>